In this short video, I will walk you through the process of adding existing H5P content to your eClass course. There are two ways you can add existing H5P to your eClass site. The first option is to download the H5P of interest and upload the file to your eClass course content bank. This option allows you to edit and adapt the H5P to better meet your course needs. The second option is to use the embed code to bring the tool into eClass. With this option, since you're not downloading the file, you can no longer make changes to the H5P, but you can use it as is. This is a quick option, and one benefit is if the original owner of the H5P makes changes to the H5P, it will automatically update for you as well. Let's walk through the process. We'll start with the quicker option, which is to use the embed code. We will begin by visiting the website that has the H5P content of interest. The first step is to find the H5P. Then, locate the Embed button at the bottom of the H5P and click on it. Select and highlight the embed code. Copy the entire code by using Ctrl-C on a PC or Command-C on a Mac. Now that we have the embed code, let's go to the course site on eClass. Turn on the Editing Settings from the top right-hand corner. I'm going to create a new page for this activity so that I can add additional information later. To do this, we need to click on Add an Activity or Resource and then select Page. You will need to give your activity a title. As the first video is on cheating, I will use that for the title. You can also add a short description. For example, all students are required to complete this activity. Then scroll down to the content section of the page. This is where we can add the H5P activity. First, you need to click on the arrow pointing down, which is the Show More options, and then click on the Embed icon and paste the embed code. Then scroll down and click Save and Return to Course. The H5P tool has now been added to your course. Now let's take a quick look at the resource. The tool looks great and it's ready for students to use. Here's a quick summary of the steps we just took. Feel free to pause the video here to work through the steps on your own. Now the second option for adding H5P resources is to download and save a copy of the file to your content bank. Let me show you the steps involved. Once again, we will need to visit the website to find the H5P of interest. Now this time, we want to download the tool. To do this, click the Reuse button at the bottom left-hand corner of the H5P. Click Download as an H5P file. The file will download to your computer hard drive. Typically, it saves to the download folder. Now that we have the file, we can go ahead and upload it to our course content bank in eClass. Go to your eClass course and then click on Content Bank in the left-hand navigation menu. Then click Upload and then click Choose a file to select the H5P file from your local computer. Once the menu opens, you will need to scroll down and then click Choose File. Go to your download folder and select the file we just downloaded. For the copyright, select the appropriate status. Here I'm going to select Use of the Material is Covered by a License from the Copyright Holder or with their permission. Then scroll down and click Upload this file and then click Save Changes. The file is now saved to your content bank. Any files you have in your content bank, you can adapt or just use as is. For the purpose of this video, we are not going to make any changes and so let's now go back to the course homepage to add this resource. First, we need to turn on editing setting again in the top right hand corner of the page. Once editing has been enabled, click on add an activity or resource and find H5P from the list and click on it. Once the browser opens, first give the activity a name. Then scroll down to the content section and click on H5P in the toolbar. Once the pop-up browser opens, find content bank in the left hand navigation menu and click on it. Then you want to locate and select the H5P of interest and then click on select this file. You then need to consider which H5P options to enable. At minimum, we recommend that you enable the copyright. Now the last step is to scroll down and click save and return to course. The H5P is now available in the home page. Let's turn off editing and check out the tool. Perfect, the tool looks great. Here's a quick summary of the steps we just took. Feel free to pause the video here to work through the steps on your own. Thanks for watching.